quiz of everything. If you can find a quiz that's bigger or fatter, then we'll match it. And that's a promise. A totally meaningless promise. <laughs> and have we got a special show for you tonight? No, it's going to be pretty much business as usual. <laughs> but on the plus side, you won't have to talk to your family for two hours, so not all bad. <laughs> right, let's meet tonight's teams. One's young, funny and has his whole career ahead of him. The other isn't and doesn't. It's Nish Kumar and Jonathan Ross. <laughs> I mean, it might be true, but that is harsh. <laughs> We're a very progressive show, so next up we have a team comprised entirely of women, which I think is adorable. <laughs> it's Claudia Wickham and Miranda Hartz. <laughs> it's a title. It's lovely to have you here. And back together by whatever the opposite of popular demand is. <laughs> One's a totally unique, one-of-a-kind comedian, and the other is exactly the same. <laughs> it's Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. <laughs> now, this show is it's basically like being back at school. We're, I mean, we're covering absolutely every topic you could imagine. Were you any good at school, Bob? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> uh, what was your best subject? What were you good at? I, my best subject was sports. <laughs> Oh. You've got such lovely skin, Jimmy. <laughs> Where did you get it? <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? It is. It's from a Petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, were you any good at school? Yes, superb. <laughs> superb. Excellent. Whatever comes up, you're going to be fine, are you? I'll know it all, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. You're very confident here. Are you yeah. Claudia? Is you as confident? No, I mean, I was, I was bookish. I was... I, I worked you? hard, but I don't know anything. <laughs> well, I'm the first one to say that I was rubbish at pretty much everything at school. <laughs> Get me on the lacrosse pitch, different matter. Uh, Anish, were you good at school? Yeah, I did really well in all my exams. I did that instead of kissing girls. <laughs> were you at a school for the hard of hearing? Is yeah. that what you... <laughs> to school in a musical, Jonathan, wow. you know, just every so often. Like high school musical. Like high yeah, school wow. musical, wow. but with less sexual tension. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, any, any recollection at all of your school days? <laughs> I came out of retirement for this. <laughs> but I went to school in the 1930s, as Jimmy's pointed out. <laughs> No, I mean, there was, it was a kind of a fairly rough school. I mean, I grew up in East London in the 1960s, so it was what, yeah. pretty much the first day of school, you had free milk and a knife. You know, I mean, it was... <laughs> yeah. By the time I got to school, we had to buy our own milk and knives. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> See, that's, that's, that's Thatcher. <laughs> So what, what about team names? Have you come up with a team name? Yeah, we do. We're called the British Asians. Yeah. <laughs> the British Asians? Yeah, a yeah, couple yeah. of British Asians. I don't what's, want to be that guy, but it feels like one of you's more Asian than the other. <laughs> you see, this is the kind of bullshit we have to put up with all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sort of oh, 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 oh. <laughs> This is not acceptable, Jimmy! I'm furious about this. Although you do have a point. Yeah. <laughs> here is, you know, with the current atmosphere and the political climate, some ethnic minorities, uh, we talked about it at the secret meeting, I mean, nothing. And um, <laughs> we decided that in order to not get deported over the next sort of couple of years, we've decided to spread rumours that various beloved white celebrities are in fact of uh, ethnic minority descent. Jonathan Ross, Indian, Mary Berry, Chinese, Miranda Hart, more like Uganda Hart. Yeah. That's <laughs> Deport us, otherwise you'll be harming yourselves, Britain. <laughs> nice. Uh, have you got a team name? We haven't thought of a team name. No. Well... <laughs> it was your only job. One no, option. I had a spray tan. I disagree with that. <laughs> I thought of ladies who lunch, breakfast, dinner, snack and tea. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's catchy. Yeah, it's yeah. catchy. OK, ladies who lunch, etc. That's what we've gone for. <laughs> oh, what? I think, I think that that's unfair. You've spent yeah, a lot of time coming yeah. up with a lot of teams. Jimmy, that's yeah. a microaggression. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel assaulted. <laughs> uh, Vic, Bob, have you, got a, uh, have you got a team name? Strike Force. One. One. <laughs> you don't say the one with, with Gusto. <laughs> yeah. Strike Force one. 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 What, why Strike Force One? We're both from military families. Our grandparents and parents were both in the military. We're both right. the Duke of Wellington. <laughs> so... Both, both our parents... 
Both your parents were the Duke of Wellington. <laughs> this doesn't bode well for the quiz. <laughs> uh, do you think you might win? No. <laughs> the fuck is Jonathan wandered off? Yeah, hey, yo. I'm, so, I'm really sorry because I had a problem earlier. I've, I, I've got to bring something out here because I couldn't leave it at home. What? So, oh, well, no. Well, well, because you see. Thing is, you know, all my kids you have left dogs. home. Well, my yeah. wife's working and I can't leave these two alone at home because last time I left them at home, <laughs> Pickle did a shit on the dining room table, so I've got to bring them in here. Yeah. You yeah. can't bring dogs on. Well, I'm waiting. My nephew is meant to be dog sitting and he's going to come here now and get them, but I can't leave them on their own, so I'm going to just have my head. Oh, that's uh, so sweet. That's come on, not... boys, don't you go. Hey, this way, come How are they going to. Come on, good boys. Nish, you like dogs, don't you? Uh, yeah, I have one question. What the fuck <laughs> is up with these dogs? Well, they're, they're a bit chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have very bad dog authority. Oh, I love dogs. Come on. I can't, get the, I, I can't keep the thing under control. Come here. Come what on, they call Jonathan? What's this one called? Wow. Wow. Sir Piglet and <laughs> Professor Impey. But why, what, what's the, why is the no, he... The noise, the noise is, really the noise is not great. I, nothing about them is great. I mean, also, if, you think, I... if you think the noise is bad, wait till the smell starts. <laughs> because I'm telling you. He's a good boy. And I've got, if anything happens, I've got bags. I bought the bags with me. <laughs> it's taking me so much. <laughs> so, Miranda. Well, one of your so dogs has you... kidnapped Miranda Hart. What is he up to? I should have just got Miranda to dog sit. Good boy, isn't it? <laughs> OK, on with the quiz, everyone. <laughs> It's all about history. I'll be asking questions about things that have happened since the dawn of time anywhere to anyone. So, that narrows it down a bit. <laughs> we know a lot about the ancient Egyptians, thanks to historians. We know what they ate. Thanks to archaeologists, we know where they lived. And thanks to the Bangles, we know how they walked. <laughs> Elizabeth I was known as the Virgin Queen, but like all Elizabethans, she was partial to a bit of rough. <laughs> Right, here's some questions about all of human history. OK, first question. We go back to 1535. King Henry VIII introduced a tax that was only payable by men. He made himself exempt from the tax. Of course, he bloody did. What was the tax for? Are you really starting the show with the question about tax? <laughs> <laughs> OK. So what was the tax for? Second question. Take a look at this footage from the 1940s. All I want to know is, what is unusual about this tank? <laughs> Jimmy, I studied history at university and I'm getting all these right, so boom. <laughs> you, studied, you studied history? I got a degree in history. <laughs> well, I imagine when you studied it, there wasn't as much history to study. <laughs> That's the thing about history, it gets harder every day. <laughs> this is always a high point for the Big Fat Quiz. The children of Mitchellbrook Primary oh, School yes. upon a school play. Now, they're acting out a story from history. Uh, all you've got to do is tell me what the story are they acting out brilliantly here. I am the bestest at this game. Yay! Yeah! Beep, boop. I am a robot. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Nobody can beat me. Ready, steady, go. Horse, go in the middle. Right, and what are the children acting out there? Nish, don't oh, no, kill that dog. A, Nish is having a problem. I'm lighting. just having it. Just bring him over with you. Will it do? I can't. You want to have one? You're better with dogs. Just, Miranda, you I'll take try, it. but I like struggle. Oh, look, it's working. You've got to pick him up from the. They're top heavy. Pick oh, them up. Oh, oh, really has got a dog. She's, a, she's dog people. Yeah, I'm dog person. <laughs> so, next question. What was unusual about the BBC Radio News Bulletin broadcast on 18th of April 1930 at 8.45pm? It was a full 15-minute news bulletin. What was unusual? Yeah. Radio. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because there was no television. I know, but I just don't know what... <laughs> what do you think it is? <laughs> what? I'm feeding a bloody dog! <laughs> <laughs> 
For our next question, it's over to Hollywood heartthrob Luke Evans. Wow. Hi, Jimmy. Having appeared in three of the Fast and the Furious films, I know a thing or two about mayhem on the roads. Take a look at this photograph from 1967 in Sweden. What caused this chaos? Have a look at this. OK, what caused that chaos on the roads of Sweden? <laughs> when was it, Jimmy? It was uh, 1967. And you can see there, there's a, there's a Griggs, which I imagine is their version of Griggs. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, it's missing you. It is missing me. Come on here. Come on, you monster. They're monsters. They're bloody lovely is what they are. are um, Jimmy, are we talking about pets at the moment? Yeah, we are we? talking about pets. It's that bit of the big fat quiz of everything. Well, uh, why, why unusual pets do you have? Well, I, 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 just, I don't know whether you call it a pet, but I've got a wood louse. <laughs> just at the base of me, um... Yeah. <laughs> 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 of, uh, what's it, your mantelpiece, you know, where you have your fire? Yeah. But I don't suppose <laughs> it's a pet, but we look out for it. <laughs> so, I don't know, we don't feed it. But we kind of do, it's our wood. wood. <laughs> OK, all right, everyone, some answers. No. I asked you what tax Henry VIII introduced that was only payable by men. What did you all get? Let's go to Claudia and Miranda on this. What do you think? Uh, a beard tax. Yeah. And not, uh, not bread, beard. It just they look similar, so I just wanted to be We didn't clear. want anyone to panic. <laughs> OK, so, so a beard tax, Jonathan? We we've also... We've got a beard tax and I've drawn a little self-portrait of myself. <laughs> I, I didn't know you couldn't do art. It's <laughs> <laughs> wow. great -ish. Jimmy, what are you talking about? That's exactly what I look like, look. <laughs> OK, fair enough. Uh, Vic, Bob? Yeah, we got it. We put, we put, we, we put it bears for the lols, for the raffles, for the waffles. <laughs> but we, we put the D in just so you knew yeah. we, were, we were onto it. But bears, it could have been bears yep. as well. It's on bears, just payable by men. Yeah, maybe. Bears with beards. <laughs> They used to have that in the, uh, in the in the sort of in the freak show of the Victorian era. They would have the, the bearded lady would actually be a shaved bear. It's <laughs> a weird fact from history. Really? Yeah. yeah which and really they, they'd missed the trick there because actually the good bit of that would be watching someone try to shave a bear. Jimmy, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where are you getting this nonsense from? There's absolutely no truth in that whatsoever. Absolutely true. Google that. No one has, has ever shaved. It's considerably easier to persuade a woman to put on a fake beard than it is to, sh <laughs> to find a bear, catch the bear, shave the bear, and then look after the bear. That's the extraordinary but true thing about that fact. Jimmy, if you shaved it, it would still look like a bear. Yes! <laughs> no, I can't stay any longer. If you're going to maintain <laughs> that bears were shaved, what are you doing, Jonathan? I'm going to go outside, I'm going to shave my dogs and leave a little bit of beer. <laughs> and you see if they look like ladies. <laughs> Honey, Jack's here, isn't he? This is my nephew, Jack. Jack! Jack, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Hello, James. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. OK, I showed you some footage of a tank from World War II. What was unusual about the tank? Uh, what, what have you got, Claudia Miranda? Inflatable. Boom. You knew this? Yeah. The second you saw it, you went, this I went, rings a bell. That's inflatable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 my dad um, was in the Falklands War. He loves war stories. And he told me about the, just the inflatable tanks deceiving the enemy. Jonathan Nish. We've uh, gone with you... inflatable tank. Yeah. I believe it was a subterfuge carried out by the British government to trick German spies into thinking we had more military equipment and they had uh, fake things like an inflatable tank. Awesome. OK, Vic, Bob? Yes. Well, it has, if you watch the film, it's got quite a floppy nose. Robert Decoy. To tell more of a story, more of a rounded story. Rather than just inflatable tank. Yes. Yeah, Robert Decoy. So, yeah. Much if, nicer. Yeah. If you share the tank... Uh, Jimmy, does it become a rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, you're all absolutely right. It was an inflatable tank. We're going to have a little look. It's, pre it's pretty good. <laughs> the extraordinary thing about that is we won that war. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I think they all thought our men were so incredibly strong, they just gave up. <laughs> They're lifting a bloody tank, those fellas. <laughs> um, OK. Uh, you, sh you saw the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School acting out a big news event from the past. What do you think it was? OK, now... It, while I was writing this, the, one of the dogs sort of took over. So that's why it sort of uh, looks like I've had a nervous breakdown at the end. 
what I was trying to write was uh, Kasparov plays a computer at chess, but what I've written is Oof. Kasparov ploy as Which is close enough. Which I think we can all agree is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Claudia Miranda, did you get this? Claudia wrote this one down. By the way, how much do we love those children? Oh, amazing. Yeah. I mean, they're wonderful. They're, they're, they're amazing. Uh, yes, and we thought, well, I, I was worried about the spelling. Is it Kasparov or Kosper? She went Kosper. And I think I made it, uh, to go Kasparov. Well, according to my card, which is bound yeah. to be right, Kasparov. 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 Yeah, but your card thinks that a bearded lady was a shaved bear, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% sure you're not a bear. <laughs> <laughs> or a lady. I don't know. Jimmy, do you sleep with bears? Is this where the misunderstanding is? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say never, but not up to now, no. Can I just say I would sleep with a bear? What? <laughs> Why do you look at me when you say that? But wouldn't you? It's like your proposition. Well, I suddenly realised as I said it, everyone went, that's weird, so I just looked at you to go, help me. Oh, okay. I think that's a brilliant yeah. idea, and I would oh, too, Claudia. I slept with Bear Grylls, <laughs> and he was very tender. <laughs> well, in which case, yeah. I'll sleep with a lion, please. <laughs> Lion? Yeah. No. That's, I mean. Majestic. You could really lean on it. You could have a good spoon with a lion. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say, but Martin, we would louse. We'll watch Nickelodeon together. <laughs> that will do. Okay. Uh, Wendy, I think you've all got this. Did you get this as well? What did you write? Yeah. Yes, we wrote Computer Beats Kasparov, Chess, Russia. OK, well, you got that absolutely right. It was 1997, uh, and Gary Kasparov, the uh, chess grandmaster, was beaten by a computer. Um, OK, I, I asked you why uh, the 8.45 BBC Radio News Bulletin, 18th of April, 1930, was so unusual. What did you put? Uh, we have written the 10 o'clock news. Yeah, they, they... Mistakenly, they gave you the news that hadn't happened yet. Yeah. <laughs> Luke, Bob, what have you got? Uh, we, uh, we said it was, maybe it was the first one ever. First oh. one ever. It was, it was not the first one ever, but that is a better guess than that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what, what have you guys got? We... We're guessing. We were thrown. OK, so what did you guess? I said someone burped. Right. <laughs> then I just wrote help. That's right. just to the audience, right. if anybody knows. And then I also... There was a news bulletin where there was no news. The right answer. Oh, oh, that was oh, it. Oh, <laughs> yes, um, this, is, this is absolutely true. On the 18th of April, 1930, uh, there was no news. The newsreader simply said, there is no news before playing piano music for 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> You're very clever. No, but I, was, I thought the... Uh, ladies who etc. <laughs> <laughs> We're all over it. <laughs> OK, Luke Evans asked you uh, what was going on in this picture, taken in Sweden in 1967. What did you think? We actually thought it was the opening of the first Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> There was an absolute just sort of Swedish stampede. <laughs> uh, give us the point. Um, yeah. Thank you very much, Jimmy. No. Okay, so what have you put? Well, isn't this when they decided that the cars would drive on the other side of the road? Vic, Bob, do you concur? What we have, you have the same yeah. answer, yeah. You started driving on, on the right. Oh, well, you're both absolutely right. It was the day they, uh, they changed hey, uh, well, one side well, of the road. Well, there was 157 accidents that day. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> it could have happened on the same day. OK, so at the end of that first round, the scores are... Well, Jonathan and Nish have three, and they're lucky to have three, frankly. <laughs> Vic and Bob have four. Full marks to Claudia and Miranda with five! Wow. <laughs> to the big fat quiz of everything, where we're mainly eating bananas. <laughs> the ladies who etc. Living We've up to their We've just bought a lot of snacks. Would you like one? Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go. Don't I give say... them to the enemy. <laughs> oh, they're sharing the potassium. Wow. <laughs> it's hard to catch a banana than I thought. Yeah. Sorry. Can you catch a banana? Oh, yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. Go on, let's play catch! OK, so when it was spinning in the air, oh. that's what distracted me. Yeah, go on then. OK. Unnecessary amount of anger in that. <laughs> Jimmy, there was something distinctly Terminator-like about the way you just snatched that apple out of the air. He's like the T3. <laughs> this round is all about music and embraces all types of music, not just modern chart stuff, but also the works of the greats, Mozart, Bach and Beethoven, who all wrote music for adverts. <laughs> 
Beethoven became a recluse after he went deaf. Either that or he couldn't hear the doorbell. <laughs> Metallica are the first and only band to have performed on all seven continents. Europe, Africa, Asia, Westeros, Mordor... <laughs> Narnia and Guernsey. There you go. <laughs> right, time for some music questions. Here we go, first one. Shania Twain's That Don't Impress Me oh, Much no, no. is a hateful abomination of no, a song. No, 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 no! No! Unacceptable. Leopard, Sorry, desert, no. you may be a... this, yeah. You may be... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. That don't impress them. It's an amazing song. What I want to know is, can How you remember the you? four things that don't impress yes. her much? Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the ladies who lunch and also breakfast and dinner and snack are going to nail this. And make them blow uh, yeah, you may have. <laughs> what does she sing about? <laughs> Help me. Can I go and talk to them? No, you Why? cannot they're go and talk friends. to them. No, they're not your friends. Does anybody want Strictly tickets? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so next up, I want to know which pop group were recruited via an advert that read, Macho Types Wanted Must Have Moustache. Oh! You're not going to say an era. Well, it's the big fat cause of everything, so it's uh, since the dawn of time. <laughs> That's the only clue I'll Helpful. give you. Helpful, thank you. Uh, it's within this realm. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. For our next question, it's over to the Channel 4 newsroom where Jon Snow is reporting oh. on a classic song. Can you work out what he's reporting on? Over to you, Jon. Questions have been raised over the safety of a new artificial heart after one transplant patient complained that the prototype caused him to experience continuous and persistent dull pain and was liable to malfunction. Speaking to Channel 4 News, the man said that he regretted his decision to take part in the medical trial, adding that his friends were all talking about what a fool he'd been and frequently laugh and joke about him on the phone. Surgeons, meanwhile, are in a desperate race to repair the heart, with one expressing concern that there was now a very real risk that it might blow up and kill this man. Back to you, Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you, John. Over to you. I thought he might ask a question. <laughs> well, well, I said, what pop I... song is he reporting on? And that was, the, that was the song he was reporting on. Well, it wasn't a genuine report, Jimmy. <laughs> Just to, to treat it as such. <laughs> 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 OK, ready. OK. All right, Dr Spin reached number six in the charts in 1992 with this catchy cover of the Tetris theme. Have a listen. Good song. All I want to know is, so Dr. Spin had a hit with that. All I want to know is who's Dr. Spin? Oh. I know this one. I know this one. Uh, this is yes. good. This is so good. It's good, right? Fools. Good. Yeah. Fools looking OK. Good. And for our last music question, over to uh, Ore Aduba. Hi, Jimmy. So, who doesn't love the Beatles? Their 1967 album, Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, has one of the most iconic album covers of all time. But apart from the band themselves, can your teams name three people pictured on the sleeve. Easy. Mm. Mm. How many, did you say? How many, three, you need three, three. for the point. Three for the point, three people. Yeah. Okay, you ready for some answers, you got I'm it? I'm so nervous that I don't have all the answers for number one and then I can't go home. But just go, it, 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 uh, and it's all good. <laughs> all right, I've got some answers for you. All right, so I wanted to know uh, what four things didn't impress Shania Twain. What have you got? Well, we better go to Claudia for this. <laughs> Over to Claudia. Well, okay. I'm a bit worried I don't have them all. So she definitely went, you may be Brad Pitt. <laughs> See? Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you sing all of them, please? And then the other one, you may be a rocket scientist. <laughs> I, I suddenly changed. I wasn't Shania yeah, anymore. No, that's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then the third, third one? Third, yeah, fast cow. <laughs> Fast car? Fast, fast, fast car. Fast car, yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then you're confused. three for three so far. Yeah, but what about uh, the moves? Yeah, we got the touch. And then I don't know the fourth one. What? Do you want to hear? Yes. Um, what should, well, oh, what do you guys hear? Because, because we can back up exactly what Claudia just got. Oh. OK, so what did you... Brad Pitt impression. Yeah. Fast, fast. car is a wire edge Cortina. 
correct, yeah. And then he says, she goes something like this, and she says, no. Shitty snorkel. Shitty snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> and something like, cheap cufflinks, which is cheap cufflinks. Cufflinks, yeah. <laughs> Done. Sorry. A shitty snorkel. Shitty yeah. snorkel, yeah. Shitty snorkel. When did the you one, say that the, the one song? with the ping-pong ball in the top. <laughs> No, we've got definitely all impressive definitely impressive rocket scientists as well, haven't we? Okay, well, you're, you're definitely right on rocket scientists and Brad Pitt. And the car, what have you got? I hate to quote Gandhi when he was speaking to Churchill, but the Asians do not agree. Yeah. We... <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, I've written Hey Jimmy at the top. Welcome. Friendly. Two little musical notes. And then we've just gone with your classics. Number one, laser pointers. Two, gluten intolerance. She definitely <laughs> said she definitely was not impressed gluten with intolerance. Him saying he was gluten intolerant. Number three, ex Coventry City footballer Dion Dublin. Number four, <laughs> number four shaved, shaved bears. bears. Shaved bears. Shaved bears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I mean that is. You know what? If, you, if you're going to get it wrong, you might as well get it wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, should we have a listen? Let's have a listen. So you're a rocket scientist. That don't impress me much. Okay. So you're Brad Pitt. Okay. So you got a car. Okay. So what do you think? You're Elvis or something? That don't impress me much. She's surprisingly Elvis. hard to impress, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. So Elvis. If you're Elvis or Brad Pitt, no. Nah. I think we were we were actually referring to the uh, extended remix mm. when she's like, oh, gluten intolerance, oh, Dion Dublin. Oh, that's not a bearded lady, that's a shave and bear. <laughs> How long would the remix have to be before she got to Dion oh, Dublin? Oh, it was hours long. Absolutely hours. Too long. Most of 1996 was that song. <laughs> Gluten wasn't invented before 2005. Was it? <laughs> it's ahead of a time. Yeah. yeah. We met Brad Pitt, Pitt once. Did in you? In a club in London, yes. And we asked him how many murders there were in the film Seven. <laughs> <laughs> he, took it really, he took it really well. <laughs> no, generally two. And he took it really well and told us there were six. <laughs> Apparently, there's a technically six. You got three out of the four, so we're going to give you a point there, I think, Claudia, Thank because you. otherwise they just think your self esteem would plummet. <laughs> yeah. Have you given us a point there? I think we have given you a point. Yeah. Thank you. And the two. Asians, James? <laughs> Nothing. As Churchill said to Gandhi. <laughs> OK, I asked yeah, you what I'm pop group was recruited from an advert uh, that said macho types wanted must have moustache. What did you put? Well, we disagreed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Steps. Yeah. I was, I was pretty confident it was the village people. But you so love the village people, that's the answer to almost every question. Yeah, that is the answer, <laughs> in absolute fairness. That so, was going to be number five for Shania Twain. Either the village people or Steps. Either the village people or Steps. Claudia Miranda, what did you...? Well, you went with five, Just all right. Just because I love that song. All rise. All rise. That's, uh, that's, that's a song by Blue. That's Blue. <laughs> I went to five because I really like that blue song. <laughs> yeah. That. We also put Take That, Never Forget, because I like that one. Never forget where you're coming from. Never forget, forget that, that it's all real. real. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. We don't know. No. Uh, uh, what, what did you, Vic, Bob? Simon and Garfunkel. Which pop group was recruited from an advert that said macho types wanted? <laughs> <laughs> macho types yeah. wanted. Simon and Garfunkel. Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say is the more macho, Simon or Garfunkel? Garfunkel. Garfunkel. Easy. <laughs> Gar, you love your, you lump your Garfunkel. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a temper, hasn't he? Yes, he? no, he has got a temper. We met him once and had a right old good punch up. <laughs> 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 we tore it up with him. Yeah, he's, um, <laughs> Well, Jonathan, Nish, you got this absolutely right. It, it was that was the original advert that cast the Village People. Yes. Oh. Yes. Take a look at them in action.
You saw Jon Snow reporting on a famous song. Oh, uh, what was it? We've tried to cover Options. many okay. bases. We thought it sounded... I thought it sounded a bit Eminem. Explode. Boom. <laughs> Destruction. <laughs> In yeah. the desert. Yeah. Then, because he's my favourite, we just wrote Manolo. Manolo. Okay, sure, so just write down things you like. That's often a good idea. <laughs> and then... You're not making a playlist. <laughs> and then Stormzy. Stormzy was a more educated guess. Vic, Bob? <sighs> it's tricky. Did you want the artist or the song title? Or neither. <laughs> <laughs> that would have done good. <laughs> OK, so what have you got? Heartache. It's a heartache. By Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> Uh, no and no. We think it might be achy, breaky heart. Oh. And then next to it, I've yeah. drawn a little picture of a heart that is both aching and broken. <laughs> Let's go back over to Jon Snow for the answer. You get a point for that. It was uh, Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Bob and me were on holiday when this came out and we were in separate rooms in a hotel and we both saw it on top of the Pops, do you remember? Yeah. And we, we, we lo loved the song so much. We were in Cornwall and we walked to the furthest That's point right, yeah. and shouted to Billy to send his record over to us. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. Well, we Billy, did. please send over your hit record. Because we couldn't get it in the record shop. Because we were on the West Coast, so theoretically it could have come from, from America. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Next, I asked you, uh, I asked you who Dr. Spin was. What did you think? Lord what? Lloyd Webber. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Lord? Randy said that! She knew it! Yeah. Well, you're absolutely right, yeah. What have you what did you thought? I guessed Lloyd Webber. I said I think I have some memory this is Andrew Lloyd Webber, and Nish said no. I said absolutely, absolutely not. not. There's no way that he would debase himself in this way. And I believed it was the work of a uh, then unknown novelist uh, called J.K. Rowling. <laughs> I've drawn a little lightning bolt next to it so you know it's Harry Potter, Jimmy. Vic, what, what have you got? Lloyd Webber. Lloyd Webber. And, his, oh. and his band was called Hot Tits, we think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was Andrew Lloyd Webber, yeah. Uh, when that gets what out, they're going to take his knighthood away, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good tune. The Tetris tune is a good tune. <laughs> there was a lot of those things around at that time, wasn't there? I remember when Game Boys first came out and I gave you one. Do you remember Did you? I gave and then you one? <laughs> and then you let me play on your Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you decorated it, you customised it by covering it with acorns. <laughs> it's a perfectly good Game Boy and you glued acorns onto it. I thought you made it look better and it still worked. Well, that's debatable. <laughs> and it means you could play it in the woodland <laughs> in, in camouflage and no one can see what you're doing. <laughs> I just think that you're playing with a handful of acorns. <laughs> Ore Aduba wanted to know if you could name three people from the Beatles' Sgt Pepper album. Now, could you? Yeah. You seem very confident in this. We know. Yeah, we reckon. Who have you got? Diana Dawes, Karl Marx and Bob Dylan. Carl Jung was on the cover as well. Tony Curtis, I think, as well. Tony Curtis was, yeah. A yeah. uh, doll with the Rolling Stones T-shirt, that was on there as well. Was... Nish Kumar, he what? was on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, who have you got? Uh, Claudia Miranda? Uh, I, I wrote Oliver Hardy. Okay. Diana Dawes. Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. I'm worried about Oliver Hardy, but I'm sure he was on there. You're three on three. Yes! All of them right. And Vic and Bob, what have you got? Karl Marx, again. Buddy yeah. Ollie. Buddy Ollie and Marilyn Monroe. Oh, no? Oh. There is no Buddy Holly. Uh, no, I think there is. Well, I mean, there it is. Have a look. Where is he? Where do you think Buddy Holly is? Where's Buddy then, Jim? Oh, I don't know. He's on there somewhere. <laughs> now it's time for a special bonus round. I'm going to show you three iconic album sleeves that have all been subtly improved. Oh. All you need to do is tell me what the album is. So, one at a time here. Here's the first one. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I need the artist and the name of the album for oh. the point. Oh, OK. Okay. All right, so next one. Let's have a look. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Good. Wow, that Good is that is yeah. I think that's the name of the album. Okay. And the last one. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Sorry, sorry, I don't know what the audience are laughing at there. <laughs> <laughs> Painted. Painted. Here we go. Oh. OK, it was not an angry crow. Big line. <laughs> OK, so the first one, what did you get for the first one? Cool. Let's have a look. OK, so you got... Uh, Blondie parallel lines. Parallel lines. Yes, we got Blondie that. Blondie parallel lines, you got that? OK, and did you... Yeah. Oh, everyone got that. Blondie yeah. parallel lines, let's have a look. Was your first one? Mm -hmm. OK, and Claudia, Marianne, I'm interested in your answer to the next one. You, what, who do you think it is? I Phil thought Collins. it was Phil Collins, and I thought the album was so... But you, it thought it was, you thought he recorded Peter Gabriel's album, so? <laughs> <laughs> it's a I was trying! Which album did you go with? We've oh, gone Claudia. with No Jacket Required, but we've written it in oh. sort of a cool, modern way, so it's cool No Jacket Required. <laughs> OK, and what, what, did, what did you go for? Phil Collins with Just Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a better answer, <laughs> but not correct. You, you get it absolutely yeah. right. Jonathan no jacket required. No. <laughs> okay, uh, Vic, Bob, what was the last one? Britney Spears with Baby Beetroot. What did you get, Claudia, Miranda? We Britney, didn't... but we didn't. Know... It hit me, baby, one more time. But we think that's probably not the title of the album. You, you could have that though. That's it's uh, it's it one hit... more time. Was one the album? Time? Uh, yeah, you get we've, this? we've gone baby one more time. Oh, well, we'll give you that. We're not oh, crazy. Uh... Got three for three. Three for three. <laughs> three, 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 three. You got two, and you got one. Sorry. All right, let's have a look at the scores. Let's see what that's done. Okay, well, I can tell you, uh, Vic and Bob have eight. Jonathan and Nish have nine. In the lead, Claudia and Miranda with twelve. Ooh. to the Big Fat Quiz of everything. Our next round is film and TV, and it's a proper subject these days. Some people have degrees in film and TV, and we call those people waiters. <laughs> the first children's programme in Britain was called Muffin the Mule. <laughs> it was a more innocent time. Now, of course, Muffin the Mule is the name of a drug smuggler who brings coke in from South America up her chimichanga. <laughs> OK, time for some questions. All right, film and TV. Okay, uh, take a look at these rattled people leaving a cinema on Boxing Day 1973. What classic movie have they been to see? It's really gross. Yeah. I want to see if it's going to make me throw up. I'm not going back in there. It didn't scare me. I just... I don't know what happened. I just fainted. It Man, that is one of the most grossest movies uh, in the world. It is. I ain't never took my coat <laughs> over my face <laughs> like that. I passed out. Yeah. In, in about the first half hour, yeah. OK, so what film do they go and see in 1973? OK, James Bond has seduced 55 women over the years, including several with very suggestive names. All I want you to do is name three of them. So three Bond girls with ludicrously suggestive names. I mean, that's Roger Moore there, so... <laughs> the girls' names, it's... Suggestive, I believe you said. Suggestive, yeah. The, 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 the slightly. I the, can't just write down. The yeah, double but with your uh, thing, you can make anything sound suggestive. Uh, so <laughs> Hello, Lucy. <laughs> can you make me a martini? <laughs> you know, James Bond wasn't a pirate, yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, Cliff Richard, Prince Charles, Cilla Black, Patrick Stewart, and Girls Aloud, Sarah Harding have all appeared in which TV show? Yes! <laughs> we got it. Well, next is over to the uh, Master of Magic, Dynamo. Hi, Jimmy. My all-time favourite superhero is He-Man, a.k.a. Prince Adam of Eternia, who turned into He-Man after casting a spell. But can your teams remember the magic words he used? He-Man? Yes. His enemy is my fashion icon. Skeletor. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Skeletor your fashion icon? Pirate, goth, slept in a skit, angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back in the early days of Channel 4, some movies were broadcast with its red triangle on the screen. What did it mean? Yeah. Right, you ready for answers? OK, here's answers. Uh, you saw some people looking upset on the streets of America in 1973. Uh, what I've got them in a tis? The Exorcist. The Exorcist. The Exorcist. The Exorcist. Oh, well, absolutely right. They just come out of the uh, The Exorcist. Yeah. 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 Story of a typical teenage girl. Yeah, she's, uh, she's moody, bad skin, swears at her mum. <laughs> Probably just a face. I, I asked you if you could name three Bond girls uh, with suggestive names. Uh, how did you do? Uh, Claudia Miranda, what did you put? Pussy Galore, the classic. 
Was he galore? Yeah, that's one. And then we, we had a bit of a mental blank. Yeah. You've got to do it suggestively. <laughs> Mayday! <laughs> <laughs> I said pirate. I said suggestive. Oh, sorry, suggestive. Mayday. No, we, we got lost. And then uh, Doctor Christmas. Doctor Christmas. Oh, good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, they're all they're all Bond girls. They're not maybe as suggestive as we could have hoped. They are. We can do it better. Take your clothes off. <laughs> Doctor Me Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> OK, you could have the points for that. What about you, Vic, Bob? Did you get it? Pussy Galore. Pussy Galore. Lucy Quim. Quimble. <laughs> Lucy Quimble. Um, <laughs> rosy <laughs> Arses. <laughs> <laughs> rosy Arses. Uh, yeah. uh, no, I mean, Pussy Galore's the only one you got right there. Uh, Jonathan Nish, I imagine you know... We've got Pussy Galore. We've got yeah. Xenia on a top. Oh, fabulous. That was a good one. Oh, and yeah. we got I Want to Lick a Dick, yeah. which I'm not sure... <laughs> She was definitely one of them. Well, Xena Onotop was is very good from, from yep. Goldeneye. Pussy yep. Galore, obviously, from Goldfinger. Could have also had uh, Dr Molly Warmflash. <laughs> <laughs> so that's from the world is not enough. <laughs> Rosie Arses suddenly seems all the more plausible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is James Bond. <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Rosie Arses. <laughs> <laughs> Just didn't give it. <laughs> good, it's... Uh, Oh, dear. Okay, I asked you, I asked you where Cliff Richard, Prince Charles, Cilla Black, Patrick Stewart, Sarah Harding had all appeared. What show? Mm, mm. Royal Variety Show. Hmm? The Royal Variety Show? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Patrick Stewart has never done the Royal Variety oh, Show. so close. I think we should get a point for a really good answer. It's a bloody good answer. It's a bloody good yeah. guess is what it is. Think, but what, what, sh we what show? We didn't know. Cash in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> We watch you together on the afternoons and we enjoy it. <laughs> We've hedged uh, this one. We've gone Coronation Street and or Embarrassing Bodies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you that one of those is correct. What? Yes! Embarrassing, embarrassing Bodies! Body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wrong. You get the point there for Coronation yeah, Street. thank you. I've all been in that. Uh, yeah, good. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. All right. We treat ourselves to Patrick Stewart and Corey. Now, this is from 1967. This is Patrick Stewart in Coronation Street. And I would say he has not aged a day. This is his debut on television. All right, leave that alone, son. We'll see to that. Is there anybody else in the house? Uh, no, it's only me. Right, Bailey, take the bathroom upstairs. Great, you better bring the hose reel. Ah, uh, well, it looks a bit of a mess, to be sure, but then you've had a fire, you know. Hmm. Where's all the carpets and that? Ah, uh, well, we took them outside to see to them. They're safe enough now, but you wouldn't want them back in here in the condition they're in. <laughs> okay, Dynamo asked you uh, for the powerful incantation that turned Prince Adam of Eternia into He Man. What did you get? It had something to do with Grace Skull. Okay. And he said something like, Unleash, let's go, something. <laughs> but the main point was it was Grace Skull. I mean, that's one word in it, but I don't think we can give you yes, that. Can. Now, Vic, Bob, you're much closer. What? Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. Much, much further away. <laughs> By the power of grey squirrels. <laughs> By the power. We've got it. By the power of grey squirrels. Well, should we have a look? Let's have a look. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of grey skulls. <laughs> so the answer was by the power of Grey Skull, I have the power. You don't get a point. I think you get a point for Grey Skull. Yeah, you got the you got we the meat and the bones of it, and you got well. you got all of it. We got all of it. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I wanted to know what the red triangle that used to play on Channel Four meant. We've put adult content brackets dicks and fannies etc. <laughs> They used to show sexy stuff late at night and yeah. they would put that on to warn mm. timid viewers away yeah. or to lure in those who were looking for that kind yeah. of hot action. <laughs> um, Claudia, Miranda, what have you got? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> Big sex. And then we'd just put hazards in case that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's, it wasn't a highway code question, but it's good to cover the bases. Yeah. Vic, Bob. Filthy, dirty, sexy, juicy nonsense. <laughs> 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 I feel like there'd be 
They'd be excellent names for new dwarves. <laughs> Well, I think points all round for that. Yeah, basically it meant that it was content that might offend some viewers, could contain nudity, basically it meant worth a watch. It wasn't that... <laughs> it wasn't that, it wasn't it wasn't that mucky, but by, by the standards of the time, I suppose it was a bit muckier than anything else that was on TV. But we all stayed up, didn't we? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> OK, time for another quick bonus round. We've asked one of Britain's most distinguished actors, Charles Dance, to read a selection of online film reviews from internet users. All you need to do is work out what the films are that he's talking about. OK, here's the first one. I've never seen penguins dance. This propaganda film is meant to deprive us of tuna. It's forced brainwashing for some UN secret agenda of mind control. One star. <laughs> What's that a review of? Mm. Tough one. I fancy Charles Dance. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look at your answers. All right. Uh, Claudia, uh, Miranda, what did you put? Happy feet. Happy feet. Well, that makes sense. Uh, what did you put, Jonathan? Happy we, put ha feet. we put happy feet. Happy what did you? Uh, what did you put? Penguin, Penguin Express. Express. <laughs> <laughs> Penguin Express. <laughs> that was happy feet. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Very misleading title. None of him's made of iron. Three stars. <laughs> are we stuck together? No, I like it. Stay close. <laughs> Our chairs are stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> have you all got something? Yeah. Mm. OK, all right, let's have a look. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Well, Iron you all got that. Was oh, 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 sorry. 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 Oh, not a classic. The boy drinks wolf's milk and the baby elephant had a haircut like a man. One star. <laughs> they used to put elephants with male haircuts into freak shows in Victorian times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look, see if you all got that. I presume you all did. We've put the Jungle Book uh, and just to hedge our bets, or Iron Man 2. <laughs> and you got? Jungle, Jungle Book! Book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you panicked there, Bob. I really did, yeah. yeah. No, all points all round. Let's have a look and see what that's done to the scores. Uh, well, I can tell you, in last place, Vic and Bob with 13 points. Jonathan and Nish have 18 in the lead. Claudia and Miranda with 21. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of Everything. Our next round is about science and technology. Just think, without the leaps in computing made possible by Babbage, Turing and Tim Berners-Lee, we wouldn't be able to play Candy Crush in the toilets at work. <laughs> Thomas Edison invented the light bulb in 1878, begs the question, when he first had the idea, what lit up above his head? <laughs> OK, time for the big fat science questions. First, take a look at these children in 1934 taking a lesson on how to properly use a telephone. Hello, Jean. Is that you? I'm just learning how to use a telephone. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. Come up and see me sometime. Okay, and don't forget you're going to take me to the cricket match. <laughs> right, then, I can't come out today. I've got to mind the baby. Give me an option. Double one, double one. And look so bad to an all. <laughs> wow. Children learning how to use the phone in 1934. The first ever telephone call was in 1876. What was said? Yes. Good. Can you hear me, Mother? Okay, so you've got something? Next, I want to know what online service was created after Jennifer Lopez wore this dress in the year 2000. It's like an app, like Instagram or like, A bit like that, yes. Like a, a function. When, when you hear it, you'll go, oh, yeah, well, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Why? What do you mean, hear it? It's got a noise. I no, when think. I tell you what it is. <laughs> when I tell you the answer. OK. Oh, she's off. Oh, she's going snacking. Oh, no, she's gone. We've lost her. No, I... I she's shrunk. I found a bit of fish. She's snacking. Got some star mix, anyone? <laughs> We've got some traditional Asian snacks. <laughs> really? Yeah, Jimmy, which we will share with you. Yeah. Function. Well, traditional function. British prawn Asian snacks. Prawn cocktail skits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! You thought, you all thought it was going to be... That's on you! You all thought it was going to be onion budgies. No, British Asians like skips as well, you goddamn racists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, have a look at this incredibly important scientific artefact. What I want to know is, what is it? So, underneath the three cloches, there is a silver mm -hmm. object. What is it? We all use it every day. <laughs> Next question. If you needed to grow 3% taller without having to do anything, where would you go? Write it down! 
down. Do you know that? Because yeah. I'm going with shoe shop. <laughs> Shoe shop. You I'm think it might be shoe shop? Shoe shop. That I'm like, guys. That makes sense. Can I have a skip? Do you want a monster munch? Yeah, I'll do. What flavour? This is amazing. Oh, what monster munch flavour? What? what flavor Roast do you have beef. For? Do you guys want some crisps? Yeah. It does feel like we're mocking them by eating so many snacks in front of them. <laughs> Traditional British Asian snacks. They probably haven't tried these before. They're yeah, exactly. Those skips might be a little bit spicy for some of them. <laughs> Okay, so uh, here are some answers. Okay, yeah. so I asked you what was said on the very first telephone call. We think we know it. Go on, it's what something is it? very similar to "Can you come into my room?" Uh, Claudia, Miranda, we went with "Can you hear me?" <laughs> <laughs> Mother. <laughs> and Jonathan, we he... thought it was "Can you come in here, please?" Or you also thought it might be. I thought it might be. Have you ever been missold PPI? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Alexander Graham Bell rang his assistant, Thomas Watson, and said, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. Uh, so I think it was a booty sorry. call. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think points there, I think points there. Mm, no. <laughs> OK, uh, I asked you if you knew what online service was invented after J-Lo was snapped in this dress at the Grammys in the year 2000. Claudia, Miranda, what do you put? Google Images. Ah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to give you that. It's Google Image Search, that mm. function. Yeah, yeah, Google Images. Google Images, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I said that wrong. Uh, I, have to, I right. have to say, Jonathan did get it right. He said Google Image Search. Uh, I thought it might either be Tinder or Ask Jeeves. But luckily... <laughs> he, went, he said very ask confidently, Jeeves. when Ask Jeeves, I said, what would you ask Jeeves? Yeah, because people were like, what is that dress? Ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was Google Image Search, so you got it, you got it. What did you, um... Yeah. Hashtag, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, like, it would be hashtag that dress. You know, it was the first time yeah. people wanted to all talk about something. Hashtag <laughs> wrong. <laughs> OK, I, I, then I showed you this, OK, and asked you what it was. Did you all get it? Yes. Jonathan. Nish, no, this was Nish, because you, uh, you, you said... You <laughs> said it's something that we use every day. every day. And he said that, and I went, what, every day? And he went... Yeah, I don't what judge. <laughs> I, I didn't realise this was the big fat quiz of judging people's lifestyles. No. <laughs> I'm not. Nish wants a book plum. <laughs> it's probably it's... easiest if he shows you. <laughs> <laughs> if your butt is the hole here, and then you just get a little plug, and you just go... Boop. Like charge your phone off it. Yeah, yeah, and charge your <laughs> phone off. <laughs> So we've got butt plug. And what's the other one? Well, we thought it might be a weight. We also like thought it might be a weight. weight yeah. or something very... Cos you said it's... We use it every day yeah. and it's something really rare. Claudia, Miranda, what was well, the... Well, I don't know what no. this is, but you said you use it every day. Yes. Good diversion. And you think... Well, you said... I'm blaming you on this. You went yes. scissors. <laughs> Vic and Bob. Yeah. Kilogram, obviously. <laughs> That's the right answer. That is oh. the kilogram. The kilogram. Oh, it's the yeah. kilogram. Uh, OK, so uh, where would you go uh, if you wanted to be 3% taller? Miranda knows this. Well, I think I read this somewhere, and I don't know if I've got the right planet. OK, what do you think? Jupiter? Wrong. Oh, I'm really sorry. It is. Sorry. What, what, have you, uh, what have you got, uh, Vic and Bob? The, the moon, moon, of course. <laughs> the of course. I mean, there's a lot of... Yeah? Yeah. So? And? What? Well, technically... <laughs> <laughs> Technically, uh, Jonathan and Nisha got this right. You put space. Out of space. space. Oh, so out of space is the right answer. The moon will give you Jupiter. No. Well, what? It's in space. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but it's got a lot of gravity. You'd be tiny on Jupiter. No, yeah. if would... you'd been to the shoe shop first. <laughs> Time now for some science. Say what you see. We've got three of them for you. All you need to do is take a look at these pictures and tell me what moments from the world of science they're spelling out. Point for each one. Let's go one at a time. First one, just say what you're seeing. OK. Shh. That's it, that's it. Nish, we've got it. We have got it. Great. And there's a great sense of achievement. Well, I, I find these very, very pleasing. Yes. OK, what have, have you got, yeah. Big Bob? Noah's mailbox on Mars. <laughs> Noah's <laughs> mailbox <laughs> gift on Mars. OK, very, very close. Claudia, Miranda, what did you get? Nose Queen presents. <laughs> Switch asses. <laughs> Jonathan Nish? We got Walter present on Mars. They discovered Walter oh, was on Mars. Right. Right.
Because you're currently <laughs> one ahead of these two. You're in the lead. OK, next one. Say what you see. <laughs> oh, God, what is that? What the f is that? Newt. Wait. Newt. What is it? No, it's not. Yeah. OK, all right, so uh, did you get this one? Yeah. What we did, we got... <laughs> <laughs> what did you put? Animal weight disc. <laughs> <laughs> Bed, gravy and then tea. Uh, did you get this, Jonathan Nish? Yeah. Newton discovered gravity. Nish all over that. Let's go to Vic and Bob. Did you get this one? Newton discovers gravity, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Newton. <laughs> Next one, OK. Oh. <laughs> OK, last one of these. Yes! Go on, Nish. Nish! Flight. Flight. Come to our side! You need Nish on your team. He just... What uh, is that? Oh, no. OK. Yeah. All right, everyone, if you're in down something. OK, Vic, Bob, what have you got? The Wright brothers' first manned flight, obviously. <laughs> Uh, Miranda, did you get this? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Not a cocking clue. <laughs> Not a cocking clue. What did you get, Jonathan Nish? We wrote Wright, Wright Brothers Bob. first manned flight. <laughs> of course! <laughs> <laughs> points, points, no points. Right back after. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's going on with the scores. Vic and Bob have got 21. Claudia and Miranda have 23, but in the lead, Jonathan and Nish yeah. with 26. <laughs> the big fat quiz of everything. Our next round is all about people. We don't know exactly how Tutankhamun died, but judging from all those bandages, it must have been one hell of an accident. <laughs> Apple founder Steve Jobs changed the world forever. It's difficult to imagine now, but before the invention of the iPhone in 2007, it was almost impossible to watch pornography on a bus. <laughs> In 2017, Victoria Beckham was awarded an OBE for her services to fashion and a six-month suspended sentence for her services to music. <laughs> OK, ready for more questions? Yeah, yes. bring, them, bring them. So, people questions. Uh, this is respected theatre critic Kenneth Tynan, who in 1965 became the first man to do what? Of course. <laughs> OK, have a look at this picture. This is Mary Sawyer from Stirling, Massachusetts. In 1816, she became the talk of the town, and her story is still regularly told to this day. Who is she? You ready for this? Oh, you've got to say it quietly, because otherwise they'll hear. Oh, if that's true, that is absolutely extraordinary. It is true, because she was a okay. bear, <laughs> and then what they did... <laughs> 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 this, this guy's going to go. <laughs> okay, next up, uh, currently starring in the West End production of Glengarry Glen Ross, Christian Slater has a question for you. Hi, Jimmy. When I was in an interview with a vampire, I really brushed up on my knowledge of the undead. My favorite has to be the original Dracula with his plethora of supernatural abilities. But can your teams remember three of his powers? Okay, that's so... not Christian Slater, that's Jimmy in a pair of fucking glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, I thought I'd improvise. <laughs> okay, take a look at this young Elvis impersonator performing in 1991. All I want to know is, who is it? I think you might have a slight advantage here, Jim. <laughs> Why? It's not you, Jonathan. No, but am I right in thinking I might have a slight advantage? You would have a slight advantage, but you know, you know what? If you remember anything from the 90s, we'd be amazed. OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take a look at this uh, portrait we've commissioned. It comprises three very famous faces. All you need to do is work out which three faces are they. OK, you get a point if you get all three correct. So it's someone's hair, someone's eyes, someone's chin. OK, have you all got something? Yeah. Mm. All right, here we go, then. First up, I asked you uh, what Kenneth Tynan became the first person to do in 1965. What did you all say? Fuck off. <laughs> what, sorry? Fuck off. <laughs> what? That's what we're saying. He said he was the first person to ever say that F word on television. Yep. <laughs> so you have the right answer. Big Bob. Said the F word, fuck on TV. <laughs> he said the F word and then you've written fuck as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's the attention to detail we expect from you two. <laughs> 
We also said first time the F-bomb was dropped, but we think we've contextualised this because we think he snarted beforehand. Yeah. And that's when it happened. So, snarted? <laughs> when you sneeze and fart at the same time. <laughs> so he snarted, he went... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. And that became his, an historic moment. Uh, yeah, we were absolutely right. Uh, Ken Snarted was the first person to say fuck on TV in uh, 1965. Um, do you, did you know who Mary Sawyer was? Yeah, I absolutely know. She did something amazing. <laughs> she did something Poss amazing, with possibly with an animal. <laughs> oh. I mean, a lot of the time, I like quite a specific answer to a question yeah, we rather than a vague area. We go generic. Sometimes yeah. we just go, bear with us. Yeah. Like, don't get into specific <laughs> details. Like, where's you know, the mustard? Like, she did something amazing. <laughs> Tick. Let's have a good weekend. <laughs> uh, Vic Bob, I imagine you got this. We think abducted by alien. <laughs> You think she was abducted by an alien? Yeah. That's quite uh, a passive thing to yeah. have been involved okay, in. Okay, well, Jonathan Nish, what have you got? This is we, your thing. You, I you, think yeah. that she, when she was a girl, took her pet lamb to school and it caused a furore and they wrote a nursery rhyme about her. I think she's the Mary of what had a little lame fame. That is the exact right answer. Oh, my God! <laughs> Why are you high-fiving? What? No, whoa, whoa, whoa. They high five because they got it right. Why did you high five? We got it right. right. We weren't going to get into the specifics. Remember the mustard did something conversation? Amazing, possibly with an animal. Tick. <laughs> sound like they got Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> they, did, <laughs> they did not get it. Yeah, not. It's Mary had a little lamb. It's yes, very specific. That's our point. A lamb is an animal. <laughs> no points. No points. Point. All right. Christian Slater asked if you knew three of Dracula's superpowers. Vic and Bob, did you did you know? Well, can firstly say that we really liked this question, didn't we, Jim? We really enjoyed, you really it, enjoyed yeah. it. Thank you very much, Thank Christian. You. <laughs> fly, we reckon. <laughs> he could fly. Fly. <laughs> Hypnotize people, we think. Oh. And we think maybe heat stunt stuff up. <laughs> really quick though, but without an oven. <laughs> You know, like, if you had a coffee or a tea and it was cold, <laughs> and he said, <laughs> Come in, I am, I am the cunt. <laughs> I am the cunt Dracula. <laughs> okay, Claudia Miranda, what did, you, what did you get? Immortal. Immortal, yeah. That's not a power. That's not that's a power, power, is it? That's, that's, just a that, power. that's just what he is. That's no, not that's a power. that's a power. You might as well have said, weird man. I mean, it's not a power. <laughs> Immortal I mean, man. Immortal man. Immortal, like, if he gets hit by the sun, he explodes, doesn't he? Yes, he's not immortal. Yes, he gets killed by a garlic and stuff, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> a garlic. No, doesn't he? <laughs> I am the cunt. No, he's not. Oh, not garlic, you cunt! <laughs> That's not right. That's going too far. Too far. Too far. Anyway, so what else do you have? You had immortality. What else did you have? Leader of bats. That's a good power. He has dominion over bats and wolves. All you have to do is that leader of bats. Oh yeah, that's okay. And then what else have you got? I think invisible or can zoom zoom down. And then you've written another thing. Shapeshifter. Well, you got three of them right. Well done. What did you get, Jonathan? We put shapeshifting. Yeah. Uh, we we put we thought he could read minds, and then we yeah. put he could hypnotise people. Read minds, hypnotise, sort of the same answer. It's not remotely the fucking same thing. <laughs> What's wrong with you, you you massive overpaid prick? Listen, <laughs> you've got one job to do. Read, to write. You spell some bullshit about a bear. We are a fucking idiot. <laughs> Quite simply, and happy New Year. So you think? Anyway, but I think oh, okay. I think they are different. Okay, so the, the, here's his superpowers. We've got eight of them. He's got uh, hypnosis, telepathic powers, shape shifting. So yes. you're three for three. The power to control animals, bats and wolves, uh, turn others into vampires, immortality, super strength, and Immortal. the ability to create mists. What? <laughs> Like that is the, yeah. the shittest of his powers. That is number eight on the list. <laughs> oh, can I tell you another interesting true story? I once once sold Christian Slater some erotic Japanese art. <laughs> do you remember? I do. And uh, <laughs> he said, we were doing a film with it, and he said, uh, he said he really liked Japanese erotic art. I said, I've got some at home. I'll bring you some in. And I did some very crude biro drawings. <laughs> <laughs> of sexual positions that you might find 
<laughs> on, the <laughs> on the back page of a, maybe a 13-year-old's <laughs> notebook. <laughs> And then you and then you sold those. Well, no, when he saw them, he did, I, I built it up for about three or four days, and so here they are. Brought them in. <laughs> Get your money out. <laughs> okay, so points, points, no points. Uh -huh. Okay, oh. um, you saw a clip of a young Elvis impersonator. All I wanted to know is who it was. Claudia Miranda. I thought it was Enrique Iglesias. Uh, Can you be my hero? <laughs> <laughs> You don't know so many songs. Uh, and then, suddenly, we look like Enrique when he's moving around, but that still only looks like one person. Bruno Mars. You think Bruno Mars, Vic? Bob? Do you Bruno this? Mars. Bruno Mars. And Jonathan, you managed to piece this together. Yeah. Well, because that footage, I was filming that footage. I was doing a documentary about Elvis impersonators when we were out in Memphis years ago. We did a documentary for Channel 4 called Viva Elvis. And they said, oh, there's this tiny kid doing it. It's a four-year-old doing Elvis. So we went down to film him and I interviewed him afterwards. And that is Bruno Mars. Well, we, <gasps> we didn't think you'd remember. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's have let's uh, let's have a look. Let's treat ourselves. Bruno, first of all, can you tell me how old you are and how long you've been performing as Elvis? Uh, since when I was two. And how old are you now? I'm four. And what's amazing oh, is the guy who's operating him never once broke out. <laughs> 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 Bruno, Okay, uh, lastly for this round, we showed you a face that was made up of three different celebrities. Did you get who they were? Okay, Claudia, uh, Miranda, let's start with you. I don't think we did. Okay. We just threw some names. Okay, what do you got? What names? Goldblum, Daniel Day Lewis, Abraham Lincoln, and Damien Lewis. Damien Lewis. Okay, you got one right. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Vic, Bob? Lincoln, Steve Jobs, and Mary Berry. <laughs> Jonathan Nish? We went with Abraham Lincoln for the bottom, mm. Bill Gates in the middle, and then we think the hair might be Harry Styles. You're what? all right. No. Wow. Yes! Come on. Yeah. Well, here they are. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> OK, time for another bonus round. This is the part of the show where I introduce some mystery guests. All you have to do is tell me who they are and what connects them. However, you can only ask yes or no questions. Ladies and gentlemen, our mystery guests. <laughs> All right, so yes or no questions only. OK, mm. go ahead. Claudia. Are you related? No. 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 Do you live together? <laughs> no. 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 Do you work together? No. no. Do you have any connection whatsoever with each other? <laughs> it's yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Do you, you dress up as something? No. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes you yeah. fucking do. Oh, yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you, Unbelievable. Are you, are you yes. Teletubbies? Are you, no. <laughs> it's a very, very good guess. Do you all do the same thing? Yes. 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 Yeah, we do. Could anyone do it? No. Oh! <laughs> are you all lookalikes? What bugs do? If you think you know what it is, you've got to write it down. They can't be lookalikes. They look like three different blokes. Do you know? <laughs> are different you lookalikes of three different, different people? Different people? Yeah. No. 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 Are you lookalikes of the same person who changes quite a lot in a short space of time? <laughs> Are you... No. Yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah, a yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Why do you keep on getting these oh, wrong? You... This is you your life. life. Do you work um, on television sets? Yes. 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 Would you be heroes to children? Yes. yes. Something they all used to do. Are you used to do it? But you don't yeah. do it anymore? No. 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 Do you miss doing it? Very, very yes. much. Yes. <laughs> Do you advertise something? Yes. 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 I think that's enough. I think you could guess from there. An advert. What could An they advert. be? Yeah. Was it advertised primarily to children? Yes. 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 Hold it. Hold no, it. That's not Hold up. Yeah, what, yes. I know what you are. Well, write it down. Oh. There's more of you, aren't there? Yes. Yes! yes. <laughs> Look, you're yeah, screaming. We, 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 we can now <laughs> move on. <laughs> I got you, you mother... <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> yes! Oh! <laughs> we know who you are! <laughs> OK, all right, so have you all got something? So we let's have a look. So, Claudia and Miranda, what did you, who did you think these gentlemen were? We got it wrong, but... I'm what do you think? Just, they're all Basil Bean, Basil Brush. It's a, it's a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but somebody's got to have their hand in here. <laughs> well, that's my childhood dream shattered. <laughs> OK, uh, Vic, Bob? 
Milky Bar Kids. Oh. Uh, what did you think, Jonathan Nish? We put three. Milky Bar Kids and we spoke it with a Z, cos if they come back for the modern youth, that's how they're going to spell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, could, could you tell us who you are? My name's John. I'm Anthony. And I'm Robbie. And we, uh, were, we were Milky, Milky Bar Milky Kids. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. John was the Milky Bar Kid from uh, 1974 to 1978. Let's have a quick look. The Milky Bars are all made! <laughs> milky Bar, so creamy white. Nestle's Milky Bar. I mean, that's the classic. That is the classic, John. That's the classic. Yeah. Anthony featured in ads from uh, 1988 to 1991. Let's have a look. <laughs> the Milky Bars are all made! <laughs> Milky Bar from Nestle. <laughs> Robbie was the Milky Bar kid from 83 to 86. Have a look. Milky Bar kid. Milky Bar's Milky Bar. Milky Bar's Milky Bar. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. So, uh, do, do you get to, have you met each other before? Uh, um, we've we, met before, haven't we? We've met before. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but I've, I met, I've met different Milky Bar kids, but I haven't met... Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm not Is it because you're the original cowboy Milky Bar kid? Yeah, and I think these guys, the these interlopers, can fuck off. I'm 100% with you, I'm the glad original. you said that. Yeah. Wasn't there one before you, though? Wasn't there one in black and white TV? There was, yeah. So sorry. who was the first Milky Bar kid? Because he must consider himself the real shit. He's the daddy. <laughs> he's the daddy. Yeah, he's the is he still alive? He is, yeah. He yeah. lives yeah. in Spain. Wow, he did. No-one's going to try and touch him now. Let's have a look and see what that's done to the score. So I can tell you, in last place, currently, uh, Vic and Bob with 24. <laughs> uh, just two ahead, Claudia and Miranda with 26. In the lead, wow, Jonathan and Nish with 32. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break now, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the Milky Bar men. Thank you very much for coming along, guys. Quiz of everything. The next round is all about geography. I like geography. You know where you are with geography. <laughs> The temperature at the North Pole can drop to as low as minus 40. To put that in context, that's cold enough for a Geordie to consider wearing a coat. <laughs> in Nepalese, Everest is called Sagar Matha, which roughly translates as she whose white body is littered with toffs who spent 50 grand on freezing to death. <laughs> OK, time for some more questions, everyone. <laughs> Uh, first up, where can you find the following items? Nail clippers, an astrologer's ashes, two golf balls, 96 bags of urine, feces and vomit, and several improvised Correct. javelins. Correct. Where would you find those things? <laughs> For our next question, it's over to Judy Murray. Love Judy Murray. Hi, Jimmy. I've been lucky enough to visit Australia many times for the Australian Open, and I love it over there. But can you tell me what it is illegal to do in Queensland unless you're a scientist or a magician? I love Andy. Uh, what's not to like? I've got posters of him in my office and everything. He's the greatest. <laughs> Maybe smashing lad. Mm. Question three. Here are some Scottish children being interviewed in the 1970s. All I want to know is what are they describing? What's it like? I see this wait before. Did you? It was very long. It was longer in the school. And it was longer in a snake. Has it got any legs? Of course not. It has. It's got four legs mm -hmm. and can go in the water. How big is that mouth of it that it's got? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can really let that clip go without looking at the first child's haircut again, though, can we? <laughs> that was extraordinary. It's like he's got a second head on top of his first head. <laughs> Is that Vic and Bob when they were younger? <laughs> <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> After a YouTube video went viral, the island of Tashiro Jima had an increase in over 500% in tourism. I want to know why. What is weird about that lovely island there? Nihon <laughs> desu <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey. Subarashi. Where is it? Is that in Japan? Hey. What, what do you got there, Claudia? Uh, classic hula hoop. We've moved from months to months to the month. I'm just classic. doing all the crisps. <laughs> See, I don't know how you can go to hula hoop from Monster Munch. Monster Munch, it, it's such such a strong flavour. Monster Munch. 
Most but I can. think hula hoops, after you can't eat a load of hula hoops. You can, you can eat yeah, that beef. <laughs> hula hoops are fun for about 12 seconds, max. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> well, clearly. Uh, OK. Before we had Google Maps on our phones, we had to get around using real maps. Uh, you've got three ordnance survey symbols here. All you have to do is tell me what they mean. I got 12 and a half percent in an ordnance survey. survey test when Trying I was 11 years it. old. That's pretty good. Yeah. Who was <laughs> testing your ordnance <laughs> survey skills? It was when we did it. We did it as one of our geography exams. Yeah, my daughter does it. I don't we, know what it is. If we had known that, we would not have booked you for the show, Nish. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you ready for some answers? Not yeah. yet. Yeah, We're just waiting so it down. Ready. Jonathan, Nish, write down Nish something. Nish is just getting nailing that last question. OK. How old's Nish? Mm, I don't know, it's tough no to tell. I mean, we could knows. ask him, I suppose. But <laughs> you can't talk easy. about Nish as if he isn't here. Yeah, you can't. Well, it's because he was concentrating. Oh, I see. So I, yeah, I was concentrating. You can also make say, I'm going to say... Late 20s. I'm going to say 31. I'm going to say 32. 30. Okay. I would go older than all you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually bang on. Oh, what do you, you think? think? Yeah, 36. <laughs> well... I am... 32. Oh. Oh. And I got that correctly because I asked him just before the show. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's, um, 40. Waste. Darling. <laughs> 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 OK, I asked you where you could find some nail clippers, an astrologer's ashes, two golf balls, 96 bags of urine, feces and vomit, and several no. improvised javelins. Did you all get it? Yeah. Yeah, there's two places no. you can find it. Uh, one of them is the moon, and the other is the oh. back of Jonathan Ross's van. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> We 96 bags of urine, feces and vomit. It's a busy weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia, Miranda. We've written Moon. Should we have written Glastonbury? <laughs> you had it right, and then you threw it away on Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> written Moon. But of course we've I got say, that. You're you said Glastonbury, I'm afraid it isn't Glastonbury. It. I'm going to sing Shania Twain. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bob. The Moon. The, the moon. moon. Well, the Moon was right. Points all In round. In their gift Yay. shop. <laughs> I wouldn't bother going. Would you bother going to the moon? No, it no. screws you up, doesn't it? Does it screw you up? Astronauts have gone mad, haven't they? Have they gone mad? Yeah. I mean, we're basing this on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz Aldrin thought he was a small toy who was best friends with a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the documentary example. about that. Yeah, and it was yeah, yeah. Something. Yeah. Okay. All three of them, very good documentary. <laughs> <laughs> so Judy Murray asked you what it was illegal to do in Queensland unless you're a scientist or a magician. Own a rabbit. <gasps> own a rabbit? Yeah. yeah. OK, what do you think, Claudia? Own a rabbit. We put own a rabbit as well. Well, we started with, first of all, Nish said, own a top hat. <laughs> and I thought, why does a scientist need yeah. a top hat? <laughs> At the end, you go, science. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so well, you all got that absolutely right. It's Is illegal to own a rabbit. Yes. That's great. Maintaining our healthy lead. Hello. Look at him. OK. You, uh, you saw some Scottish children talking about something. What were they talking about? Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, we reckon Nessie, and I've actually done an artist impression. <laughs> just of Nessie there. Just... Even by your standards, not a great picture. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, Claudia, Miranda? We, yes. Well, that's Loch what we Ness. thought. Uh, Vic, Bob? Loch Ness Monster, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, how's that pronounced? Loch Ness Monster, yes. I'm getting more and more Motherwell, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you all got that right. You're doing very well on this round. OK. What? Turns out dog with me, the subject. OK. <laughs> Tashiro Jima is an island with, uh, with an increase in tourism for, for, because a YouTube video went viral. Can you tell me, uh, can you tell me why? Uh, Claudia, Miranda? I don't think this is right, but Justin think? Bieber went and did a video there. Oh, you're so close. Oh, really? really? What, what do you think, Jonathan Nish? I think, I'm not sure which one. There's an island with loads of little red foxes on it, and yeah. there's an island with loads of cats on it, both of which have been very popular online and both of which have attracted a lot of visitors. Yeah. I don't know whether it's the island of foxes or the island of the nickel, the cat. Uh, Vic, Bob, what do you think? Um, cats. cats. Island of cats. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So close with Justin Bieber, it's the island of cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel better about yourselves. <laughs> Let's have a look at the pictures there. I think if you could see, you could see that one at the front. Well, they're all listening to Justin Bieber there. You might have been singing Memory. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent reference from Cats. Uh, what's the next one? There you go, some Cats. And then this one. Oh. <laughs> so points? Uh, points? No points. 
All right, so Ordnance Survey map symbols. That's what I showed you. Uh, did you get them? Uh, yeah, let's go we with... got these. Number one, <laughs> jagged, jagged teeth. Jagged teeth ahead. <laughs> number two, the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Don't get lost. Don't go there. And number three, the band blue. Five. Not right. five, as they're often called. Oh. <laughs> so, a point to us. Thanks a lot, Jimmy Boy. <laughs> OK, uh, Claudia, Miranda, let's hear what your suggestions are. Uneven surface, hazards, <laughs> generic, uh, and a lookout <laughs> point. And if it's not uneven surface, let me just throw in the word stalactite. <laughs> <laughs> you seem uh, very pleased with yourself. What, uh, what did you get? First one's a crag. Oh, oh, crag. crag. <laughs> is crag a thing? Yeah, Crag David. <laughs> so that is the symbol for a uh, cliff or a crag. Triangulation station. They're not a thing. Not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Two thing. words. No, it's not a thing. The triangle symbol there is the symbol for hostel, not triangulation <laughs> station. Hostel, yeah. Both. <laughs> uh, and what, what, do you, what do you think the last one was? Viewpoint. Viewpoint is exactly right. So look out, viewpoint. Yes, that's correct. So no points, <laughs> one point, two points. All right, let's have a look at the scores. <laughs> so the scores is still all to play for here. Uh, Claudia and Miranda have got 30. Vic and Bob have got 30. Jonathan and Nish out in the lead with 36. Yeah. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of everything in true pub quiz style. We're ending this evening with a potluck round to test your general knowledge. It's a bit like Tinder. You're not entirely sure what you're going to get. <laughs> Right, some potluck facts. Chicken nuggets come in four shapes. The bell, the ball, the boot and the bone. And I assume those are also the ingredients. <laughs> Velcro is actually a brand name for a type of hook and loop fastener. Other companies have attempted to copy the idea, but their versions are just rip-offs. <laughs> OK, time for the last round of questions. Uh, first up, it's over to the Reverend Kate Botley. Hi, Jimmy. One of my favourite books is Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I know the characters inside and out. But do you? Can your teams remember the four different ways Augustus Gloop, Violet Beauregard, Mike TV and Veruca Salt all ended up leaving the factory tour? Oh, I think oh, I did. We've yeah. totally... OK. Boom. Brain fry. Freeze. That's such a great film. The first one's such a great film. Have a look at this very solemn moment in Ponce Mill, Cornwall, in 1997. All I want to know is, what's going on here? This is Sid. Sid's been a good friend. These girls, and uh, they're very sad to lose it, but perhaps they'll be a bit happier when it's put to rest, I don't know. OK, so what the hell is going on oh, there? Yeah. It could be. Sometimes at this stage of the show, we like to play a really depressing clip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. OK, next question. Couldn't be easier. A rubber duck, a Scotty dog, a cat, a penguin, a T-Rex, a top hat, a car, a battleship. What have they all got in common? Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. That's so easy. That's right, isn't it? Things that were removed from my rectum. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, some Happy. Christmas party, Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. OK, have a look at this clip of a lady named Betty Hill. What experience is she describing? Now, when we arrived home, we had many puzzles. The tops of Bonnie's shoes were scuffed. Our watches had stopped functioning. There were highly polished spots in the trunk of the car. But the biggest mystery of all was the fact that it had taken us seven hours to drive 190 miles. The Examiner came running back into the room and opened my mouth and started tugging at my teeth. And I said to the leader, what is he doing? And he said, we're very, very puzzled. Why are Barney's teeth removable and yours are not? <laughs> OK, so what is that nutter describing? <laughs> OK, and um, for the last question, uh, this round, all I want to know is what does this mean in American Sign Language? OK, that. Tell us. What does that, that mean? Don't say tell us. Well, tell Can't us. Tell you. Come the on. question is, what is does that mean? Is that, is that, is that the last question of the, of the quiz? Of the we've, got the one, we've got the big fat question to come, the very last question. This is the last official what? question in the round. The last official, mean? wouldn't it be nice to begin the new what? year, 2018, <laughs> as a group, <laughs> as a family, in this... <laughs> after such bad news, like, we just stick together and be together. Just tell us something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you, Claudia, but no. <laughs> it's 
if I had a heart, it would be melting right now. <laughs> It's just going to be. We just. Gonna... I've said my two ideas, and you've scoffed at both of them. Well, what were they again? Spider Man and Rock On. Yeah, they're not good. <laughs> 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 it's, it's not either of those. It's not either of those. I just told you. What? We've got it. I what do you just... mean? You? I you... literally just told you. Me? I just told Through you. Code? You asked. No, yeah. I said what? it. You mimed. Uh... I said no. I didn't mime. I told you. Uh, with well... noise or with words? With with words. I just told you what the answer was. We've written something better. OK, all right. So, Reverend Kate wanted to know how the children from Charlie and the yeah. Chocolate Factory met their fates. What have you got, Vic and Bob? One, Dad in chocolate. <laughs> yes, he was in a chocolate river and he got stuck in a pipe. I'll give you that. Dying Two, you... shot by Wonka. <laughs> shot by Wonka. They, they cut that from the book and from the film. So, sadly, no. Three, murdered by Oompa Loompa. <laughs> but also, that was cut. <laughs> Four, hung. <laughs> Okay. okay, you got. I mean, the dyed in chocolate fell into chocolate. I would give you. Maybe, uh, no. Shot by Wonka. <laughs> Shot by Wonka. Yeah, proper execution Shot style. By <laughs> Quentin Tarantino's Charlie and the Chocolate yeah. Factory. Okay, Claudia Miranda. Blew up. Yes. Violet swelled up to a giant blueberry and had to be squeezed. Yep. Sucked through tube. Uh, yes. What, what else happened? Drowned in chocolate, gum, gum etc. Squirrels and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> gum, squirrels. I mean, you've lost interest entirely. <laughs> OK, what did you put? We think we've got stuck in a tube. Augustus yeah. Gloop, stuck in a tube. Yeah, uh, you actually know these. I think so. Violet the... Beauregard, I think, was the one... She was the one who blew up like a blueberry. Yeah, yeah. correct. Then Turned there was blueberry. Veruca Salt went down the trash chute after she was just decided not to be a golden egg. And Mike TV was shrunk after being transmitted into a television set. Yeah. 100% right. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> OK, ticks all round. You saw a solemn moment in Cornwall. What do you think was going on? We've got Furby funeral. We think they're, we th they're burying oh. something. We don't think it's a real animal. Yeah. So close with a Furby funeral. Uh, what did you get, Vic, Bob? Burial of three tiny <laughs> men. <laughs> Yes, that's correct. Three tiny men. And we thought it'd be a bit of a fun, fun thing at the end of the show. <laughs> oh, what did you think, Claudia? We've nailed Miranda? this. Claude. Tamagotchi funeral. Right answer. Oh, wow! Oh, the right answer, yeah. Good. 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 OK. Um, uh, I asked you what a rubber duck, a top hat, a scotty dog, a cat, a penguin, a T-Rex, a car and a battleship have in common. Did you all get this? Yeah. yeah. Round it immediately. Correct. We've got another one where it's actually two answers, but you didn't know the second one. So yeah. we've got Monopoly pieces and removes from Jonathan Ross's butt. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, Monopoly pieces, you've all got that. Points all round. I asked you uh, what experience Betty Hill was describing in that clip. Did you all get this? I think so. I it's hard so. to get anything else, wouldn't it? We went with yeah. alien abduction. Yeah. 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 Yes, alien abduction, too. yeah. What alien else did abduction. it mean? Alien abduction, what did you get? Abduction. Abduction, yeah, well, but all, there could have been a driving test. <laughs> <laughs> It took us seven hours to drive 140 miles. I was miles. talking about the instructor who took her teeth out. <laughs> um, I, yeah, it, it, she was the... Uh, yes, I can tell you, uh, Betty and her husband, <coughs> Barney, were the first people to go public about that alien abduction. They were very happy about it, didn't they? Uh, they're, not, they're not thrilled, are they? I asked you, I asked you what, uh, what this means in American Sign Language. I then told Claudia you wouldn't listen. I'm so sorry. Did you tell me immediately? Because then said, I was analysing. You said, tell me, and I said, I said, I love you, but no, but... It's... Look what I wrote down! I love you! It's I love you. Oh! Vic, Bob? Satan. Satan. <laughs> yeah, that's the rock and roll. Satan. That's Satan, isn't it? Yeah. So they have thumb out, Satan going... <laughs> we put mindfulness, unity and no idea. <laughs> Which, in a way, sums up the whole experience of love. <laughs> Beautiful, Jonathan, beautiful. OK, it's time for our final question. Please welcome some very special guests. <laughs> right, OK. I know. Uh, these are all uh, uh, grown men with families. <laughs> these are all football mascots. All you've got to do is name the mascot. That's all you've got to do. Wow. Couldn't be, couldn't be easy. Will you tell us the team? Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you the team. OK, so, so that's West Ham. Yeah. West Ham. If you know what their nickname is, I reckon you've got a very good chance of getting this. OK, I can tell you that that is... Uh, Scunthorpe is next. 
Uh, Scunthorpe, uh, fun fact, have a football team. <laughs> he looks a little depressed. Is that because he's from uh, the Scunthorpe team? <laughs> Are you not... <laughs> oh, someone cuddled I the funny. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Well, These are grown men. I can't stress this enough. These are, these are grown men. OK. Uh, and next up, we've got uh, from uh, West Bromwich Albion, um, who are, I think it's, it's worth saying that they're called the Baggies. The Baggies? Yes. The team are called the Baggies. Why? Oh, this is well, the... I don't know why, but they're called the Baggies. And that's, don't get uh, angry with me, So what chicken. do you think he might be called? <laughs> you have to write that down. So next up, we've got from Arsenal, um, who I don't feel I need to say, but are known as the Gunners. Yeah. Well, the last one at the end, that's just fucking terrifying. <laughs> this is from uh, Partick Thistle in Glasgow, and they've somewhat ironically done a sun. <laughs> Which, and they think that's what the sun looks like, because they've never fucking seen it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I swear Noel Fielding's got that outfit. <laughs> Can I just ask, Jimmy, yep. the aim of the game is to write down, like... like... The names, what are they actually called? The What's name the of the characters? Each mascot has got a name. What, like Robert? What do you think? <laughs> no, like a fun name. All right, don't do that to me. I do. It's nice for Jimmy to be the most human-looking one of a lineup. I like, uh, I like the fact it looks like the sun is shining out of my ass. It's angry. About it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so have you all got answers? Let's go. Yes. To, let's go to Claudia and Miranda for the for the definitive answers. Okay. Sure. Okay, two points for each correct answer. So, what have you got? Two. Yeah. Hammer man. Hammer man. Bunny Sue. <laughs> oh, okay. Sparrow Keith or Keith Sparrow? <laughs> Keith Sparrow. Yep. <laughs> right. And then and then <laughs> Miranda, what did you think he was called? Robert. Robert. <laughs> the, the Arsenal dinosaur, the Gunners dinosaur, you think might be called Robert. Robert. Ro okay. And, and then, then you thought he was called Park Dick Thistle. Yellow Shane. <laughs> Yellow Shane. Yeah. <laughs> Boomer. OK, uh, let, let's go to uh, Jonathan and Nish. Uh, we thought the first one was Hammy. Hammy. I mean, he's not a great actor, but that's harsh. Hammy the Hammy. <laughs> then we thought uh, from Scunthal, oh, Scunty the Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> then we went Baggy the Bird. Although I wanted to go with Bagford Birdsworth, but <laughs> that's <laughs> your... And then we went with... We went with Gunnosaurus Rex. T Nish knew that. Yeah. And then we've gone with Sonny the Sun. OK, so, so you're right, Baggy the Bird. Um, oh, great. I, 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 will, I will give you that. That's, you're pretty close with that. Scunty Rabbit, is that why? Right? Scunty Rabbit is right. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, of course it is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. was. No, he, he's Scunny Bunny. Um, right. So Scunny Bunny, um, Baggy Bird, Gonosaurus. Yeah. Um, uh, well, and now the West Ham. Well, no, well, let's see. Maybe Vic and Bob oh, got this. Rob. That we thought is the hammer. He's, he's Hammerhead. 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 That makes sense. He's got a hammerhead. Yeah. Oh, so he looks yeah. like Iron Man on a, on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and then you got the. What did you get? You got so, Scunny Bunny. You got that. You got so Baggy two points. Bird. Baggy Bird. You got that. Dino, that's wrong, isn't it? Dino, the Gunnosaurus. <laughs> and Sonny Patrick. <laughs> Sonny Patrick is better than your real name. <laughs> oh, do you think so? Name their mascot. Kingsley. <laughs> Kingsley? OK, so the final scores this evening, I can tell you, Claudia Winkleman, Miranda Hart, you've got uh, 37. You are joint last place with Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. Come on! 37 points, 37 points. <laughs> but our winners this evening with 46 points, uh, come up and grab your trophy. It's Jonathan Ross and Nish Kumar. Oh, come on. It's all yours. For a moment, you've nailed it. Sure. A fine performance, gentlemen. Well done. Congratulations. That's it. A big thank you to all our panel, our special guests. Thank you for watching. I've been Jimmy Carr. This has been the Big Fat Quiz and everything. Good night.